Then I have mentioned about the <coughs> risk mapping. That means different part of the organization may be exposed to different types of risk. So that should be mapped. That should be clearly identified. And that will help us to alert a particular part of the organization uh, uh, about specifically about the dominant type of risk they will face. So in the figure you can see, uh, that is just an example. Uh, the risk mapping does not have to be exactly like this. You can see in the bottom part, different, uh, uh, different contracts, Islamic banking contracts are there. And the column headings are different types of risk, like credit risk, market risk, liquidity risk, operational risk, equity investment risk, rate of return risk. So it is identified which type of contract is associated with which type of risk. Mainly, you know, it does not say that, for example, ISARA is mainly related to credit risk and market risk, but it doesn't mean that it is not related to operational risk. But probably the degree of operational risk is not that much significant here, but it is significant in case of Murabaha and Salam. So this type of uh, mapping is very important. Not only based on contract, the mapping can also be done for different departments or divisions of the Islamic bank, like this. Okay. So it helps us to uh, make a particular department focus toward a particular type of risk. Uh, 